the deluxe Mighty Cone, and it is chicken and avocado, and I think the breading is chili flakes, corn flakes, sesame seeds. Pues esta torta lleva este. Lleva cebolla, lleva cebolla, tomate, lechuga, aguacate, pierna. I'm going down to Austin, Texas. I'm going down to save my soul. Get that barbecue. Rack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a trailer park uh, with the queso. It's, it's fried chicken and uh, pico de gallo and green chilies, which is you can only get that in Austin, man. This Tex-Mex South Austin. I, I would call it yes, Soco Mex. <laughs> it's you know, it's Austin Mexican, which is different. Ah, a mí no me gusta. No, el sabor no me gusta. De hecho, no. Este me hace. El queso, sobre todo, que usan mucho queso. Para todo, mucho queso. Los condimentos. No, la verdad. Prefiero yo la, la comida 100% chilanga. Tex Mex. Um, queso. Sí, pero no me gusta. No sé, no. The city of Austin over the last few years has seen the emergence of food trucks which tend to cater to divergent communities. In East Austin, you have the more traditional taco truck, which is catering to the Mexican immigrant community. In South Austin, we're seeing new, trendier food trucks that have more experimental culinary foods. Um, this is the order window. Say hi, Brittany. Hi. <laughs> you were here the other night. This is where we have the pickup window. Here we have our dog station. We have organic peanut butter flavored dog bones. Uh, uh, what a cone is, it's, the cone is actually just the vehicle to get it to the customer. It's a flour tortilla that's placed in the cone, and then everything that we serve for the most part is breaded in a sesame seed, corn flake, red chili, uh, yeah, corn flakes, red chili flakes, uh, crust, and fried in a canola oil. Pues aquí en el, en lo que es este negocio, les ofrezco un promedio entre 15 y 20 clases de tortas. Una de las tortas principales es la cubana, que es la que más se vende, eh, que lleva milanesa, pierna, jamón, queso, salchicha. We have chicken tenders, we have uh, shrimp, we have avocado quarters, we take the avocados and quarter them and bread them and fry them. Eh, tenemos también la sincronizada, que son dos tortillas de harina, que llevan frijoles, queso, Y jamón. Then we have a venison sausage that we make at the restaurant. We serve a lot of wild game at Hudson's, and so we use all the wild game scraps, and we make a homemade venison sausage, and that one's served with the horseradish mustard. It's delicious. Tenemos también algo que no es muy común, como los tacos de suadero, eh, que en la capital se vende bastante. Aquí lo que más la gente pide es fajita. Pero yo aquí no la vendo porque el suadero es el que manda. And then we have specials. Um, right now we're doing a smoked chicken wrap with the jalapeno ranch dressing. We have a purple pig, which is the pulled pork, with the purple coleslaw and the horseradish mustard. All of these come in the tortilla uh, with the slaw, with the sausage, or the chicken, or the shrimp. Eh, tenemos cuatro tacos de suadero y dos tacos de bistec cebollado. Sabroso. <laughs> Mexican food is extremely important to Mexican culture. Even even more so important for immigrants who migrate from Mexico to the United States. And now they're separated from their families. Uh, the foods that they're familiar with growing up, the, the Mexican environment of where they grew up. And you don't have to leave Austin, Texas to find Mexico. I mean, Mexico is right here. This market is Mexico. It, it's come with them to uh, Austin, and it, they become more than just places in the United States to find cheap food. They become 
places to where you find something familiar to you. It's a place where you can continue your cultural identity and uh, and reinforces that. Food is embodiment. And when you eat food, it sets off a chemical reaction in your brain that reminds you of familiar times and familiar places. And this is why people find comfort food it's very important. What you eat, what you're familiar with, reinforces who you are as a person. In this case, for Mexican immigration to the United States, you're seeing food actually transforming the urban environment. I lived 20 years in the Distrito Federal, and this is the tradition that I always eat here. We are from Mexico, from the state of Guerrero. Yes, it's my community, the camion, exactly. Where do you live? The Distrito Federal. Distrito Federal. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There is a lot of people from the capital. Y de, de todas partes de la República. Pero yo puse comida o estoy cocinando comida estilo de F, que es lo que la gente quiere. Ellos ya saben. Al probarlo, saben que es de la capital. El sabor que, eh, de nosotros es muy diferente al de aquí. Sí, es importante. Es importante porque nosotros extrañamos la comida. Entonces, tú vendeles, tú, si vendes algo que, que se parezca mucho a lo que comen en México, lo consumen más, compran más y, y lo disfrutan. Recuerdas muchas cosas. Do, eh, lo que puedes recordar es dónde vivías, a quién le comprabas, con quién estabas. Eh, hay, hay muchas cosas que uno recuerda. Extrañamos el, el sabor de allá, se extraña, es, es, la, es lo que tenemos. Cuando, cuando estamos aquí, queremos probar algo que sepa a lo que sabe la comida en México, en el, de, en el distrito, de, precisamente. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Son los recuerdos que uno no, no olvida. Y busca esto. La cultura. La cultura. Y, por ejemplo, no queremos olvidarnos de... Nuestras raíces. De nuestras raíces, de, de todas las cosas que vivimos en nuestra juventud, ¿verdad? Y la a través. Comida, especialmente la comida. Especialmente la comida. ¿verdad? The Mighty Cone is anything but traditional food. It's probably the best example of the new food trailers that are coming into South Austin. Uh, they serve a fried chicken with the fried avocado placed on a flour tortilla, and then it's served inside of a snow cone. Um, the food's interesting, it's fun, it's good, and it best expresses the openness and creative identity that South Austin community has. And Live in Austin. Austin. And that's why that, that South Austin is uh, more old school Austin. It's got more of the old Austin culture and it's uh, more grassroots. The South Austin vibe is relaxed, laid back, funky, a little bit cool, young. For one thing, it's super friendly. Oh, thanks. And there's great food, <laughs> all kinds, including uh, Mighty Cone. Everybody just uh, loves it here. And there's kind of a, I don't know if you've heard it, there's a uh, uh, bumper sticker that says 78704, we're all here because we're not all there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, very creative, fun people. What seems like a cool thing where there's these trucks with food and it's uh, sort of an alternative to a restaurant. And food trucks Oh, not no, a day that I would need that. No, no, not a good idea. <laughs> they seem to be more mobile <laughs> and less, uh, not as clean, you know, most of them. I mean, there might be, I'm sure there's probably some exceptions, but most of the ones that you all see, we used to see are not something that I would trust as a food Same establishment. Yeah. Food do they normally sell? Typically, it's a taco truck. 
Nothing fun like this. Yes. Yeah. Thinking to eat traditional Mexican food, Austin, or would you go? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, God. I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. I don't know where I'd go. I guess I'm always eating Tex Mex. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's good. Tasty. Not bad for frozen french fries. I uh, have always been in the restaurant business since I was 20, I suppose. I put myself through college in the restaurant business. I was a single mom and I was a school teacher, so I, and I've worked at Hudson's for 25 years. I've always had two to three jobs, one of them always being restaurant. Pero toda mi vida he hecho comida yo. Tengo como 30 años haciendo, cocinando. No, desde México mi papá tiene un negocio. Eh, yo aprendí con él. El negocio de mi papá tiene 46 años. Y toda mi familia eh, cocina o hace comida o vende tacos. O... En México tengo tíos que tienen 40 años con negocios. The taco truck isn't anything new to Mexican culture. The taco truck is Mexican culture. The Mexicans are used to eating on the street, and they've just brought this way of life to the United States. And consequently, they're transforming urban spaces and putting a taco truck in an empty parking lot and having people stand uh, where normally cars used to park. No me gusta el Tex-Mex porque son costumbres de cada quien y de donde tú vienes tienes una costumbre de comer algo. Vienes aquí y, y es comida totalmente diferente a lo que está uno acostumbrado a comer. Entonces, lo comes, pero no es tu, no es lo que a ti te, no, lo que has comido siempre. Entonces, se, se hace en la calle. Entonces, viene aquí la gente y dame un taco, lo come parado. Aunque no tenga meses, lo comen parado. El ambiente al smog cuando hay mucha contaminación porque comemos en la calle regularmente. A veces este, los puestos están en medio, de la, en medio de las avenidas donde hay mucho humo y todo, pero comemos ahí y de alguna manera le da cierto sabor que... Pues, sí, pues, en la calle. Todo, la mayoría de la gente comemos en la calle. En un lugar este, pues está muy, muy bien ubicado, es una avenida muy, muy transitada. amplia, transitada y pues... Es, Sí, sí, aquí lo ves, está llegando mucha gente a, a comprarle. Está muy bien ubicado porque pasa la gente y, y se, se, se da cuenta de, de ver el anuncio y todo y pues se detiene, ¿no? Al menos a, a probar, a, a saber qué, qué, qué es lo que saben las tortas. Yo he tenido problemas aquí, no sé si lo saquen. Yo he tenido problemas con el, con el del car wash. Él, él no quiere que yo esté aquí. Él me quiere correr. Sí, cuando yo me puse, dijo que para qué puse mi pedazo de basura aquí, pero en inglés me lo dijo, que no, no los quieren a la, a la rosa. <risas> y pues, es la verdad. Traditional as you can get for modern day Mexico. 